Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for your interest in our program. Today, I'm going to provide you with a program overview about the MED and literacy education. It's starting in September 2022. The length of time of this program is 2.5 years. It's a part time program and it's delivered fully online. So prior to starting, I do want to take a moment to acknowledge that UBC campus is situated on the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territory of the Musqueam people. I also want to invite you to take a moment to acknowledge the land that you are currently situated on. So just briefly, here's my agenda today um, for this video. I'm going to do a little bit of a brief introduction, and then I'm going to provide you with a program overview. So my name is Melanie Wong. I'm the cohort advisor for this program. Um, and you can see here my contact information is on the screen. Linda, who is not with me in the video, the amazing Linda, is a senior program assistant. Um, she's the person that you would contact um, if you have questions around transcripts, how to apply for the program, and so forth. So um, please feel free to reach out to her. She's a wealth of knowledge. Um, and if you have specific questions around the academic pieces, so the questions around courses, um, then I really do want to invite you to contact me because that's the right person to contact. So just briefly, today I'm going to provide you with a program overview. Um, I already introduced myself earlier, but I'm an assistant professor of teaching in the Department of Language and Literacy Education, and I'm really excited that you are ex um, seeking to uh, learn a little bit more about this particular program. So thank you for joining me for this short video. So UBC, the Faculty of Education and the Department of Language and Literacy Education is a collective of educators committed to social justice in our work with students, colleagues, partners, and community members. And below here on the screen, you can see some of the research and teaching areas that our faculty are currently involved in. So there's many different areas. Um, we are leading scholars in this area. Um, and also most recently, the Faculty of Education uh, at UBC was voted number one in the country so that you know, um, so these are things to keep in mind as you are applying to our program. So the following program is intended for K-12 educators and working professionals who are interested in pursuing a master's of education and in literacy part-time. So really this program is for those of you that are working full-time, that have very busy lives and want to pursue a graduate study. Um, and we understand that, we understand um, the challenges of working full-time and having busy lives. Um, and this is what the program is going to be geared towards. So the primary focus of this Master's of Education program is to connect research to practice. Our graduate students will have opportunities to read and engage with the latest research. So this program really aims to personalize the learning for each admitted cohort. Now, what this means is that each cohort, um, as they are admitted, we are going to get to know you. And then as we get to know you, we're going to adjust um, in terms of your learning needs and how we might be delivering courses. So an example might be maybe many of you are really interested in this idea of having more synchronous time, so more time in Zoom, then we will adjust the courses accordingly to meet the needs of you as learners. So students will also be encouraged from the beginning of the program to engage in self-inquiry. So self-inquiry is part of how we have designed the courses. So we really want to encourage you to bring your own personal questions into both synchronous and asynchronous conversations. And we want you to explore the answers to these questions through your course assignments and your graduating project. And I'll speak more to the graduating project in my later slides. So that being said, there's a unique feature to our program. We have a cohort town meeting on a regular basis. Now, the purpose of these cohort town meetings is to meet with me, the cohort advisor. Um, this is your opportunity to check in with me, but also an opportunity to let me know how it's going, what are the things that we need to do adjust for this program and so forth. The other thing that's very unique about this uh, particular program, and I'm gonna speak more to it in my later slides of this presentation, is this idea of a cohort choice elective. And a cohort choice elective um, is one that you as a cohort would decide. So if we find out um, that you might be really interested in the idea of early literacy, for example, then a cohort choice elective will be created for you and all of the members of the cohort will take that. I will talk more to that a little bit later in the slides. So here is the proposed schedule for the program. And you can see that they're already laid out. I will talk a little bit more about this program. This is a tentative um, schedule, but um, let's go through the slides and I'll talk a little bit more to this. So in this program, you have five core courses um, plus Education 500 and LLED 590. 
So here are the courses that you will be taking. Um, Introduction to Literacy Across the Lifespan, Theories and Practices. That's the first um, course of this program. This uh, particular course will give you a good overview of all the various different areas of study in terms of literacy education. Um, and it really get you starting to think about um, what you might be interested in, what you might want to explore a little bit further. You again will be encouraged to bring in your own questions that you as literacy educators have had in your own practice, because I know that we all come from different um, experiences and we all have questions that we are really curious about as literacy educators. So I want to invite you to bring that into your coursework. Then you'll be taking LLAD 558, which is literacy and multimodality. Education 500 is an introduction to research methods. Um, if you were to take a course in person on UBC campus, you would also be taking this course as well. Um, this is one of the required courses um, in a graduate studies program. Um, basically, it just gives you the foundational understanding of research methods. LLED 559 is digital media and literacies. Um, so again, what it is, um, but it, you will be looking a little bit more on uh, the studies around digital technologies and digital media specifically. LLED 540 is an introduction to research in the teaching of literature. And then we have LLED 534, which is theory and research and teaching writing composition. And then finally, we have LLED 590, which is the graduating project. Um, so with the graduating project, um, in the past, it used to be a paper. However, it can be more uh, practitioner based. Maybe there is something that you would want to um, create uh, for your school or your school district specifically. And this will be something that we will talk about on an ongoing basis. Um, myself as the cohort advisor will be supporting you as you get to the point where you'll be doing your LLED 590 graduating project. So one of the other unique features of this particular uh, cohort um, program is the virtual graduate student conference. So at the end of the program, we wanna celebrate the learning, the understandings, the amazing projects that you've already done. And during your LLED 590 graduating project, um, you will do whatever it might be, it might be a paper, it might be an actual project, um, but we would like to share what you've done with the greater community. So we're gonna host a virtual graduate student conference. This looks really great on a CV um, to be participating in a graduate student conference. This is your opportunity to share the learnings that you've had during this program, but also to celebrate what we've accomplished at the end of the 2.5 years together. So I wanna talk a little bit more about potential elective courses. Um, and in the next slide, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that. So I've already talked briefly about the cohort choice elective and you'll understand that that's something that you as a cohort will choose. However, you also have two additional um, electives that you can take. Um, and here are some of the examples that you can take um, out of the LLED catalog. That being said, you can also take other courses um, and also through the Western Beans Agreement. So I'm just gonna to flip to the next slide and talk a little bit more about that. So you'll get two electives. Uh, many of the options, um, there's so many different options that you can take. You're not restricted to certain things. Maybe you are taking this literacy education program, but you are very interested in mathematics education. Well, then you can certainly take a course in that. Um, that would be a discussion with me, the cohort advisor. But that being said, there is the Western Dean's Agreement options as well. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a UBC course. It could be something that is offered um, through that Western Dean's Agreement. And we do have a list of universities that are part of that agreement. Um, we can certainly provide that once you are part of our program. Now, that being said as well, we can also look at self-directed studies. Um, so that would be a conversation with me as the cohort advisor. Maybe there's an area of interest that you're really interested in. There's not really a course in that. Then we can talk about doing a self-directed study. So again, with those two electives, sky is the limit, literally. So you have many, many different options in terms of what you might be taking for an elective. And again, I've already talked briefly about that uh, cohort choice elective. That is something that you and the cohort will choose once you are admitted into the program. So just briefly here, program highlight summary. It starts in September, 2022. It's 2.5 years, it's a part-time program. We have five core courses, which I briefly discussed earlier, Education 500 and LLED 590, which is the graduating project. Three options, two, sky's the limit, right? There you have many, many different options and there's one cohort choice elective. And part of our program is a virtual graduate student conference. Thank you so much for your time um, and your interest in this program. Uh, we really, really appreciate it. And if you have any specific questions, please don't hesitate to contact us directly.
Thank you.